<laughs> Can you explain what happened now? Uh, I made a mistake, and um, just really right now, I'm very apologetic to everybody that's a part of the Auburn family, the coaches, the fans, and my teammates, and just day in, day out, just trying to get everybody respect back. You just talk about from that point forward this summer, you know, talking to your teammates, those things. How's it been from, from their point of view? How, how have things gone since then? Uh, it's a family here, and um, I made a mistake. And uh, just, just every day I go in and just try to get everybody trust back. That, that's what's important to me. Uh, I let everyone down, and um, that's the biggest, my, my, my biggest outcome right now is just getting everybody back. And you has it been hard to refocus on the season? Oh, no, definitely. I, I, I have uh, great support here, uh, coaches, um, players, and the fans. And um, Just don't think about it. I made a mistake, and that's in the past. Do you know what your punishment is? I mean, Gus has come out and said you're not going to start, but do you know definitively how long you're going to be out? Uh, no, I, 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 I trust Coach. and. Um, that, that's the biggest thing is just getting his trust in. So uh, whatever the punishment is, I, uh, I open it with, with open hands. Fans especially had a little bit of a hard time understanding it because only a couple of days earlier you were at a day or event and then something related to drugs happens. Do you, does, does that almost make this a little bit harder process this whole thing? Oh, definitely. I put myself in that position and um, it was a mistake that, you know, I had to pay the Pay the price for it. Just got to get them fans back. This, you just talking about moving forward. I mean, how, how good has it been to get back on the practice field to kind of be able to focus on football again? Uh, it's been indescribable. It's been good just being out there with my teammates. Uh, just being able to, to come back after a season like we had. and Just being out there, just having fun, playing the game that I've been blessed to play for this long. So it's just a great opportunity and I'm just excited for this season. All your teammates have said every time they've been asked about it that they got you guys back and that the, the, the they still just still respect you. How, how much does that mean for your teammates to be there for you? Uh, it's big, and uh, uh, like I said, I made a mistake, and you know, my teammates have been there since day one, and they're still here, and that's what's more important to me, and just, just love being out there with them. Let's, let's talk about Coach Smith. I mean, how, how big has he been in this process for you? Because he talked about the work you did in the summer and, and, and coaching guys up and, and seeing you kind of take on that role. I mean, how big has he been for you? Uh, it's been real big. Coach Smith is like the father figure I never had. Uh, I grew up in a single parent home, so when I got here, uh, different culture changes. Coach Smith has kind of been that, that outlook that I can just go talk to about anything on and off the field. So I'm very blessed to have him as a coach and just the rest of his coaching staff. It's a blessing. Now, to have Olsey and, and, and Garrett, guys back, uh, it's real big. Just to have uh, experienced players that's been out there is it, it, going to make a, uh, a big impact on when, when the game comes down on the line and that, that third down, that fourth down. So uh, just love going out there and some of the young boys are stepping up. So it's just going to be a great feeling. I'm excited for the season. You guys, you guys as a defense, you know, good in red zone, third down, you know, stuff like that. But how much, I mean, there, there's always people, you guys always talk about dominating. But you guys have ambitions to much better than last year. Definitely. Coach, Coach Johnson and uh, the rest of the staff, they, they implement uh, outstanding defensive strategies for us, and we just have to go out there and uh, not bust coverages and do our assignment. So can you talk about the secondary as a group? Looks to me like you got more depth than last year, and I mean, you played a lot in the last couple of years. How does this compare to your other teams? Uh, just just being able to be fresh, that, that's going to be the biggest key, not being um, – not. Me, not just me, but just anybody being out there, just uh, wearing away their body, bringing fresh people at all times. That, that's going to play a major role in the season. John, I was just watching you at that camp back what, or late last month. Uh, you look like a different guy when you had that whistle on. And you were kind of getting to coach those guys. Did you like how that kind of made you feel being able to do that? Uh, definitely. That, that, that's something that uh, I have a passion for, just working with younger individuals and um, just being around football. Anything dealing with football, I, I embrace it. And, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to play this game and be in this position. Which just said that you haven't had any kind of history of any incidents or detailed drug tests or any behavioral issues at all. How much are you, do you point to your track record as something to 
say, look, I'm, you know, this this mistake is not who I am. This is this is who I am. Do you have, are you trying to say that to not only your teammates, your coaches, but to everybody on the outside who doesn't know you as well? Um, definitely. Like I said, it was a mistake, and it, it was very humbling experience. Um, but the biggest thing is right now is just leaving that in the past and, and, and just gaining everybody trust back, starting with the coaches and my teammates and these fans. Jonathan, you said in the spring that, that you wanted to be a team captain. I mean, do you feel like this isn't at all jeopardized maybe the chance of getting to, to do that? Uh, that, that? That's up to my coaches and um, my teammates. I'm just going in day in, day out, just getting their respects back. What has it been like moving back to field? Because obviously you've been at Boundary in, in, the, in the spring and now you're kind of back where you were last year. I mean, how long at all was there any transition to kind of getting back in that mindset of playing field instead of being a boundary? Uh, both, both, both of the uh, positions have different issues, and I'm kind of familiar with both of them. So uh, I'm, I'm sure the coaches have a great scheme on uh, where I will play, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to follow their lead. Do you right. think, last one. Did you think at all about, has it crossed your mind in the course of the past month and a half, of just how this might affect your future beyond this, what, 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 what this incident might be? Uh, it's behind me. I'm just going in and uh, just focus on this season. And I got my coaches and my teammates behind me and uh, the Auburn family. I'm just going in, just ready to play football. All right, Joe. Thank you.